All right, guys. We are on route to a barn find. And this is gonna be a legit barn find. We got a call from a buddy of ours saying that there is a 1957 panel truck in good condition with a bunch of parts and everything for sale. So we're gonna check it out. We're on our way. We got the old man with us. We got the truck. Oh, yeah. We got the trailer hooked up. We're cruising. Place is in Petaluma, deep in the deep in the woods. Deep in the woods. So we're on route, and uh, we're gonna check this thing out. All right, we're getting close. Got turkeys over here too. We're way up in the. Hey, look at the warehouse. It's big, it's a lot. This is nice. Is that huge? I can imagine having this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep, we're good. So this is the barn find. Oh, it's a lizard? Oh. You can tell he just kind of stopped at one point. <laughs> I have a 59 and, it's, really? and it was on the road and then it wasn't. And, and then, now it's yeah, gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got the bigger diff in it. Yeah, well, I said it's enormous. Or, or. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they have, this oh, yeah. is the worst part that I can see on it. Yeah. Right. And, and then I saw nothing left at all rotting. Extra doors. Looks like the rears somewhere right. we got these and I guess these are brand new um, uh, front doors I think. Oh okay. Uh, from what I, I just stuck my hand in the box it feels like those those edges on it. Gotcha. This is what it looks like when I bought it. Oh okay. Oh yeah that's cool. Got the wood floor. The door stop is at the top. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. The hinge set up. That was really popular on your head back then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then I had, it was just under. You see the diff? That has got the massive diff in it. It's got the eight lug set up. Eight lugs. Dude, it looks like it's been all painted up and redone. Yeah, it's all nice and clean. Oh, nice. Yeah. They're great for projects. Yeah. It's just he was into doing that, you know. Cool. cool. So, yeah, the, the frame thing, is yeah, definitely cleaned up. Oh, you look under here. It's clean. All new, all new shocks. Yeah. No, I'm good. No, I, I looked. I, it's, I was able to see everything in there. It looks pretty good. Looks like everything, the whole rear suspension, and everything's been changed or redone. Yeah, so that's, they got rebalanced, and it looks like new joints. Oh, okay, yeah. And, and a new center mount. Yeah, those are all the drive shafts. Nice. All re redone. We have a guy here in town who does them. And there are the bumpers. Where'd you get it? Where did you get There's all the bumpers. It's pretty. Oh, the manifold yeah. rest bucket. It was well, bell housing. There's a bunch of the trans. I think those are the straps for the tank. Oh, uh, the clutch, water pump pulley, water pump. Um, this 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 transmission is sitting in my truck too, but I took this part off. This guy gave it to me. This this is your emergency brake. So their piece is not here. I have it. Uh -huh. He doesn't have it. It just hooks on here and it's a handbrake. Fresh small blocking. Yeah. Mine is my handbrake's under the dash. You got the hood hood changes. Uh looks like it still has the, oh, the, the black and yellow plates. Sweet. Number one chain. Okay. 
56. And then are those other body panels here that are hung up here? What are these? Those are the inner fender wells. Because I, I just put my yeah. foot together, I know what those are. This is your front radiator support. Yeah, those radiator. are your oh, okay. inner fenders. Support, yeah. And then there's the bumper, I guess, and the hood hinges. Yeah. It looks like and then yeah, the, this is the exhaust kit. Yeah, looks like. Wow, yeah. All right, we've got header gaskets. Oh, the flanges, Busters. the flanges for the exhaust right. manifold. And then like mufflers. I think there's, I think there's two sets of of, uh, of the headers. I think, that, but I think one. Yeah, this is the one. These are the original good steel bumpers. And then we got the, the Flowmaster like exhaust yeah. here. Yeah. With all the hangers and everything. Yeah. Is this like a universal kit or? Uh, I, it looks like something right you, here, like 73 a... to 87 C10, C20. Oh, pick okay, up, so that's a quarter. It should work. Okay, we'll so make it work. you must know. You... We'll make it work. There's the old transmission. Okay. See these bumpers? You can tell there are ones in China. Oh, some the trim mold. Oh, those are the emblems. I have a Barton on mine, but I'm thinking of just putting one of these on. The would yeah, the old Chevy emblems. Look over the hood, I think. There's emblems. Headlights. Headlight bezels. Uh, so it's got, so there's like trays of stuff as he was working on it. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, Random bolts and nuts. Yeah. So here is where John. Here's the other parts. This is the. The mother load. Look at all these parts, guys. New shroud. New shroud. Um, that's the uh, the battery tray. Oh, we There's got new cables. Training mount. Water pumps, um, pulleys, oil. We got the oil. The fasteners. Uh, oil. oil. Here's the here's the carb for it. Oh yeah, the distributor. Uh, the distributor. Got this coils. Oh wow, I've done a lot before. That's not the best car. Wow, fan shrouds. What is this? Oh wow. New defroster heater unit. For the passenger. Passenger car. Change out the taillights. Oh, that's a drive shaft, yeah. Sure. It's a drive shaft. Hang on, John. One, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Wow, steering wheel? Yeah. Still got everything, man. Mm hmm. <laughs> the alternator for you, think? Oh, this is the heater right here. Yeah, heater defroster, huh? Uh, oh, here we go. Look like a whole dash, uh, whole dash pad like over there. Wiring harness. Yeah, it's the yeah. This is the carburetor coil. Yeah, I think the uh, yeah, some yeah. new gauges here too. Oh it's really? Like, Vintage tail lights. Oh, those, are, those are LEDs. It looks like. Yeah. We're gonna have to fill up. The, we we'll have to load up the. Tr well, first we have to get the front to roll. Okay, now I think this is the original motor out of it. It probably was, huh? Was it yeah. originally a, a V8 car? Do you know if it was I, like... I don't know. I, I haven't seen any six stuff here. Right. There, what's up on top of the I had orange it. stuff up on top of Yeah, the and then there's a block I here. But since this is a one ton, I'm sure it must be a V8 car. Mine was a one ton. This too. might be un the under under the frame tank. They put they put these under the frame because mine's behind the seat. Shit, this Volkswagen's clean right yeah, here. Yeah, we built that. It's got twin parts. That looks like it's just been painted. Yeah. 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 Look at this thing, guys. All finished, tricked out Volkswagen. And the motor was there. Oh, look at the look at the license plate. Senior dad. Man, for it. Oh wow. I mean, I welded all mine shut. I had like a <laughs> little hole. I sat there and I welded and I blocked it. And, you can get these catch panels because the bottoms are rot out. Yeah, those look like bumpers. There we go. There's the other doors. These look like bumpers. Yeah. Yeah, front bumper. Oh, wow. 
And, and it looks like the rear bumper is behind it. Yeah. Oh, headlights. Oh, yeah. The yeah. roof is yeah. in the yeah. See, these doors are even. These are uh, window assemblies. What's that? Window assemblies. Oh, like the window regulators and stuff? Or? It looks like probably new glass. Yeah, that's what he did is just bought everything that he would need for it. Yeah, and then. So he would be ready. Start, yeah. Window assembly. Yeah, yeah clear yeah. glass. Yeah. Looks like he just went off the catalog and just. Yeah. Going to town. What do you think? Hey, Paul, do you, do you take these bumpers? You can get rear. So here's the thing, guys. We need to get this thing to where the front end can roll so we could uh, get this thing off the trailer. But as you can tell, he started wire wheeling and cleaning up everything. The frame looks all cleaned up. So we could start detailing this thing out. And, uh, Let's see. Okay, doors open up pretty nice. Interior is pretty bare, a little rough. Looks like it has the original gauges in it. I think this is definitely, this is definitely something. Right down below, but it looks like that's not going to be an issue because we have we have uh, door panels and everything else. Fresh motor that we're going to throw in. So, guys, this was a barnyard find that has all these parts included on the deal. So, I think we're going to wrap up a deal, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you guys once we get this sucker loaded up. All right, guys, we got here at 2.30, checked out everything. This car came with so many brand new parts. This guy was in the middle of restoring it. Fortunately, he passed away. Wife wanted to get rid of everything, so we got everything. Truck, all the parts. This thing is almost complete with parts, but he was in the middle of restoring it, so a lot of it is stripped down. There's no interior, no nothing, but he already started on the framework. He started cleaning up everything underneath. It's got all these suspension parts, everything. So we finally got this thing loaded up. As you could tell, the entire truck is filled with parts. We got new doors, new fenders, motor parts, transmission parts, interior parts, emblems, headlights, bezels, everything. So, and even a fresh motor, zero miles. So we got, we got motor, gas tanks. You know, we got a new radiator. That's obviously the original one, but we got a new radiator. We got brand new wiring harness everything so this is a 1956 panel van one ton which means it's got the bigger beefier frame suspension it's got eight lugs all around the huge differential and this thing is massive but hardly any rot the rot that's on it we have replacement panels for already brand new bumpers tons of stuff for this thing so it took four hours to get this thing loaded up because when we found it, there was no wheels, no uh, wheel bearings on it, no nothing. So we couldn't even roll it. So we basically had to put the whole front wheel assembly and everything together so we could get it back to a roller so we could get it on here. And let's just say that was a task. Even though this thing is half stripped, it still weighs a ton. But anyways, this is another build for the channel. So we figured, Stay tuned for this, but this was a legit barn find. I don't run in these too often. This whole setup got it for really cheap, but uh, stay tuned for more on this. Till then, this is Kevin Costantino. Peace.